Here, you can see our demonstrator for the in-car notification scheduler. We specify the location of a CSV file, which contains recorded GPS and other data from a real driving scenario, and a movie file, which was recorded at the same time, and has information such as throttle and brake pressure, and a speedometer, overlaid on it. The app synchronises these, so we can scroll to any position in the video, and see the corresponding location on the map. We have many, many hours of video, and some of it's not very exciting, so we can increase the playback speed to make it more fun. On the right, we have a message queue, into which we can inject different types of notifications that might be given to the driver. Set now directions. These each have different priorities. So, for example, in the vehicle category, we have safety warnings, which should be delivered promptly, and longer term messages, such as a service being due in the next few months, which are much less urgent. Under personal, we have things like incoming phone calls and email notifications. When we select one of these, the system decides whether it's appropriate to deliver the message to the driver immediately, or whether it's better to wait until they have fewer distractions. As we approach this junction, we insert a low priority personal message followed by a safety warning. Vehicle safety warning. The safety warning is delivered immediately, despite being inserted later. The text notification, however, is delivered only after the driver has left the roundabout and is on a reasonably straight bit of road and travelling at a constant speed. Text message notification. On the map, we can see the points at which the events are generated and when they are actually broadcast to the driver.